Now you'll find out why you should get ready before you get in front of the camera. G'day crew and welcome back to the Do Video Podcast, where our aim is to get you and your business genuinely connecting with your customers through the best method at the moment, video. And I am your host for this episode, Zoe, the video confidence coach, like I am every other damn episode. (laughs) And today we're doing a very requested episode on what to do before you get in front of the camera. But the reason I want to focus on this today is to give you guys the tips and the tricks and the tools to be able to prepare yourself before you get in front of the camera. Because I completely understand about that fear of, well, we've already talked about fears in the previous episode, um, but the fears that you have inside before coming on to do Um, to film yourself in front of a camera, even if it's just a quick selfie type shot. But you just have that instant fear, that sickening in your stomach, that butterflies in your stomach of like, oh no, I'm about to film myself. Everyone's going to see this, whatever they think. All the fears listed above see the previous episode. But today I want to quell your fears by going through the process of what you should be doing before you even set up your camera, before you even do any of that. I want you to focus on the process that we're going to go through today. So Everything is all sorted, all ready to go, and then by the time you do set up your camera or your phone, you're all good to go, and you're chill. First off, the thing that I want to mention to you guys is when you are being on camera, I want you to be two things. Be yourself and be happy. Yes, it can be a bit daunting to be like, oh no, I'm about to film myself and everyone's going to see it, my God. But I don't want you to feel like you need to pretend to be someone else when doing video um, for your business and for online. That's what actors are for. Actors can deal with that stuff. But for the rest of us, we are small business owners. We are entrepreneurs. We are here to represent our business. So you should be yourself and be happy to do it. And one way you can do that and be happy at the same time is focus on your customer. So focus on your customer avatar. See episode two for that. But focus on your person. Don't, it's not, don't worry about you. Don't worry about you. Worry about how you're helping them. You get me? Because the reason you're doing these videos is not for yourself. If you're doing it for yourself, you're not in the right ballpark here. The reason you're doing these videos is so your audience, your viewer, your customer can get the message and the information they need to fix their problem. So making sure you focus on your customer and your message are the two important things that you should focus on before you even think of touching your phone or your camera or whatever you're going to be using to film yourself with. And now moving on to some tricks before you actually do your video. So before you touch the camera, what I've always recommended is doing batching. So when you um, do your videos, um, always do a couple of different videos at a time. So these could be um, videos when you're talking to someone or videos that are going in certain sections of your website. Um, and say, for example, what we do here, the Video Confidence Coach. When I do these podcasts, you be, may have been able to notice in the past couple of episodes or the, depending on how I filmed it, that these are all filmed on the same day because this... Um, studio that I'm recording in right now is an active audio studio and when I film this is usually it has clients it has people it has musicians it has other people working in here so I can't leave my stuff unattended I can't just leave my stuff in here and annoy everyone else so when you do batching always record a fair few things at once because you've already spent the effort of putting up the lights putting up the audio and putting everything together might as well get the most out of it But before you turn on the camera, I want you to do these few tricks. So you've already set up the location, be it in your office, um, in your house, somewhere nice, somewhere clean, good representation of your business. Outdoors, you can do it. The only problem is there are birds, there's air, there's plants, there are dogs, there there are a lot of things outside that (laughs) are a lot of variables. But if you want to film out there, so be it. But before you pick up your camera, I want you to do a couple of things for me. First, I want you to do some vocal exercises. So vocal exercises can be something as simple as a, um, I call it the horse, but um, I think it's like a raspberry or something like that, where you go. So what you're doing is you're just letting your lips relax and I just had to remind myself what I'm doing. Um, You blow air through it. So essentially you're making your lips nice and loose. So when you talk. And another thing that I always get people to do, especially when I have kids' workshops or kids' classes, getting them just to do a raspberry. No, that wasn't a fart. That was just a noise. So what you're doing is you're putting your tongue between your lips and you're blowing air. 
And yes, it does sound like a fart. <laughs> but um, what that also does, it is extends your tongue beyond your mouth and that helps stretch and move your mouth and your face around. One thing I want you to do is to start doing your vowels, but very exaggerated. So the vowels being I-O-U, E-I-O-U. Zoe, you just went to school. A-E-I-O-U. There we go. So A-E-I-O-U, but instead of the way that you would normally say them, I want you to over-exaggerate it. Make your mouth really wide. And as I'm um, as I'm saying this now, those of you can probably can hear this, that I'm talking overly exaggeratedly. So A-E-I-O-U. So the lip making a lot more exaggerated. And what you're doing there is you're stretching out your face, ready to talk. And the final one I want you to do, it's not exactly vocal exercises, it's just more of a um, face face prep, is I want you guys just to smile. It can be as cheesy and corny as you like, but I want you guys, just for a good like five seconds, smile, like, like to the point where it hurts. Don't hurt yourself, please. But to the point where it hurts. And then one, two, three, four, five. Relax your face. Breathe the fact that you don't have to hold your face up like that normally. And then... I want you just to have a natural smile. You can you can have a natural smile by thinking of something funny, some, thinking of something nice, but um, a natural smile is something where you're doing a smiling action with your lips, but it's not hurting you. Please don't hurt yourself, as I've stated before. But if you put yourself in that natural smiling face for you, it should be able to remind yourself that doing this is going to hurt, doing a natural smile is not going to hurt, so you should be able to do that for the rest of the video when you do the video. And now I want you guys, now that you've done your f vocal and your face exercises, time to do some power poses, which is essentially exercises for the body. Now, don't worry, I'm not making you guys do exercise. So um, <laughs> essentially what we're doing is power poses, poses that um, do a few things, but essentially what they do is that they create dopamine within the brain. And dopamine is the feel-good hormone. Yeah, it's a hormone. Um, and it goes to your body to let them know that something's about to happen. So say, for example, when you are about to start a race and you put yourself in that position like you're about to take off from this cleats or whatever. But, um, you know, when you're about to run and you put your arms out like you're ready to run and your legs out apart. That's the same thing that we're doing for video. But with the power poses, what it does is that you hold them for 10 seconds, let your body relax. You automatically feel a few things, but you don't activate the, flight, the fight or flight response fully. It lets your body know that, hey, something's about to happen. Let's get ready. Okay, let's, let's get ourselves prepared. And no, it's not um, a fear thing. It's purely supposed to get your body worked up and ready to go for when you actually do a video. So you've got a couple of options. You've got the Wonder Woman, which is where you put your um, hands either side um, of your body. Um, make sure your feet are always um, positioned at shoulder width apart whenever doing these poses. So have your hands above your, on your waist, just above your hips, pushing it there, making sure you push into, making sure your arms are pushing into your waist and hold it and straighten your back and hold it and hold it for 10 seconds. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And let it go. Just let it flop to the floor. <laughs> it, when I mean it, I mean your arms. And then you'll find that you feel different on the inside. And you're like, okay, that's interesting. So another one that you can do, it's called a strongman, which is where you essentially put your arms out as if you were like showing off your guns um, and strong just above your head. And then you hold it in that position for, again, ten seconds. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And another power pose that you can do before you start doing a video, again, you don't have to do all three of these poses before you begin. Just doing one to get yourself going so you're all ready to go and ready to rock and roll. This other one is one um, that I like to call the hippie. <laughs> Um, I don't mean, I'm not being mean, but um, I call it the hippie because essentially what you're doing is you're putting your arms up, if you do... Oh, if you can put your hands up in the stress, it's a little confronting. Um, and you put your hands up towards the sky and essentially you hold it up for 10 minutes. So you can splay your fingers out, get them all nice and stretched, hold it for 10 seconds, wiggle your fingers a bit. And then once you put your hands down, it's not as strong as the other power poses, but because you've stretched, because you've put your arms up, you've, your brain has told, you've, 
your brain has told your body and your body has told your brain, you're ready to go, you're ready to do this and you're confident. And that's essentially what power poses are for. Before I move on to the next one, let's look at some sponsors. Trying to find a space to practice, perfect, or even just explore your next great idea can be hard to find, especially in regional Victoria. Our studio space is in the Creative Geelong Makers Hub and is ideal for artists and makers and also offers a recording studio for small-scale audio and video production. Come in and get that podcast started. Get that video for your website done. Or even get the band together for a jam session for the ages. We're located in the heart of Geelong and you can find more at geelongmakers.com.au. That's geelongmakers.com.au. Equipment hire and expert assistance can be arranged for an additional fee. Thank you, sponsors. Now that we've focused on ourselves, we've we've focused on um, our faces, our voices and our power poses, which is our body, I want you to focus on the gear that you're working with. So what we do here is we check our gear. So check your phone. Um, if you're using a phone or check your camera, make sure that your camera or phone is on the right app or the right settings, making sure that it captures what you want to, making sure that it's filming. You can do this by testing it and seeing how it looks and watching it back. Um, you can always do this by testing out a few different things as if you were going to shoot a video, but you're just testing it out in the same position that you would be. And gear doesn't always have to just be your phone. It can be your light source. Is it natural light or is it synthetic light? What are you checking? Making sure that the, say, the curtains are open and the blinds are up if that um, is used, if you're doing natural light. If you're doing artificial light, make sure that it's at the right temperature. Um, when I say temperature, I mean the right light color for you. Is it as is it powerful enough for you? Do you have all the lights on? Are they on? Are they off? So make sure if you're filming directly into the camera, have you got a microphone for that? Is it on? Make for the love of God, make sure it's on. This is coming from personal experience. Or do you have another microphone? What are you using? Is it working? Make sure it te- make sure you test it before you go. And now that you've done yourself and your gear, let's go on to the message. So using the quick script download provided and I do have a tutorial there too um, focusing on your message focusing on what is your message about who's it for and why should they care and then going on through um, the bulk of your conversation as to um, why the three main topics as to why they should care or buy from you blah 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 but I want you to read your message a couple of times make sure you've got it into your head or if you've got a word-to-word script make sure that you're confident you're happy with how it sounds and that it reflects you in a positive light And speaking of repeating that process, I want you guys to practice until you've improved. Not till it's perfect. There is no such thing as perfect. I want you guys to just practice enough until you felt like you've improved and you're happy with it. And what I'll be mentioning in a future podcast episode is even when you're filming your videos, if you just take a couple of takes or when you repeat the same message a couple of times and see which one you like the most. So practice, see how it feels. You can always do something more than once. And the final thing I want to leave with you guys is my mantra. (laughs) Done is better than perfect. Now, it's not saying anything bad, but I just want to let you guys know that nothing has to be perfect. When you're doing a video, it doesn't have to be perfect. The reason I say this is because a lot of people do have that worry and that fear of perfectionism that if I don't look perfect or I don't look absolutely professional gung-ho, people won't respect me or my business. That's not the case. When you're doing these videos, you're doing them for your audience. Your audience doesn't care how you look. Your audience doesn't care if you have a Ferrari in the background or not. People care about the message, what you have to do to help solve their problem. So make sure your content and your helpful hints and tips and tricks and your videos are out there for people to consume. If it doesn't look good, you can always do it better later once you've had more practice and you've improved along the way but it has to be done first. And just a reminder, make sure you check out our downloads below. One is a quick script and one is our getting you started guide. I forgot what I called it, but there, but that download's there too. For a full list of sources, credits and downloadables, feel free to check out the dovideopodcast.com website or you can just rate our chat. Yes, our chat, our podcast episode today. You can rate it on your favourite podcasting app or if you've been viewing my beautiful face... You probably are watching us on YouTube. And if so, did you want to subscribe? Maybe? Yeah, totally do that. Looking for something to listen to while you wait for another Do Video Podcast episode? Well, I 
have an option for you. I meant to say example and I forgot about that, but I'm focusing. <laughs> the podcast I want to recommend to you guys is the Gold Digger podcast, not gold, gold, G-O-A-L, Digger podcast. It's hosted by Jenna Kutcher and is for um, women or, or female entrepreneurs and small business owners, but men, you can listen to it too. Her episodes include interviews with industry um, experts, serious business talks, as well as industry-focused talks. She's quite a nice person to listen to, and she does have a Facebook group to coincide with her podcast, so it's always interesting to check up on that. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, or feedbacks, feel free to reach out to us at The Video Confidence Coach on our social medias, on our websites, or even on Google. At The Video Confidence Coach, we aim to help you however we can. So if there's anything that's come up in our podcasts or our videos or even our tutorials that you want to apply specifically to your business, feel free to call us up or check out the contact details below because we run one-on-one um, -on -one coaching sessions as well as group coaching sessions and we also provide workshops. Ooh, I have a lot of workshops coming up. Thank you for engaging with me today and don't forget to tell your crew about how they can get ready before doing their own videos. Bye.